I want to start with a brief question about um, the actress who played the lead in the film. I'm wondering, she contacted you, is that correct, to, about wanting to work with you because she admired your films? Uh -huh. Ko, Ko Hyun Jung. Ko Hyun. Not contacted, we just uh, met accidentally, kind of. Mm. She said she liked my film and I liked her as an actress very much. So. That's a and she had been a very popular television actress. No? Yes, a long time ago. And then she got married to this uh, very wealthy person. Mm -hmm. And then they got divorced. Yeah. And then she returned to work in uh, drama, TV drama. Yeah. And this was her first film ever. And you wrote the part specifically for her? Uh, <laughs> I cannot really say that. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, of course, aware that uh, she is going to be the actress, but uh, while I, I was writing treatment, I, I wasn't really thinking about her like that, as you say. Question here, yeah, Jack. Uh, this is a question about um, Sang Su's use of the zoom lens, uh, and it's something that people also remarked on with Tale of Cinema, your last film. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to use it, so, um. <laughs> <laughs> A question about um, improvisation, whether uh, Sang Su actually works improvisationally with his actors, and also whether the, the incident in the restaurant and the, the subsequent incident with the motorcycle is something that really happened, because it seems too weird not to have been real. Oh, there's a separate, uh, I have a separate experience. Oh. I had some arguments with a uh, uh, restaurant person, but not in that harsh way. <laughs> and then when I was in Vietnam, there was uh, this uh, cycle, bicycle man, and he was following me around, and I, I got really scared a long time ago. And then I, maybe that's the two sources, and I combined them into that sequence. I think. And then there's the question about improvisation. Uh, I start with uh, uh, about 20 pages of treatment, and then I cast uh, actor and actress, and I interview them a lot, and then I uh, shoot in in order. So every morning I I write uh, uh, the day shooting. Uh, it, it usually is uh, two or three scenes every day I shoot. Um, so I, in the morning, I write them. So at that moment of writing, I decide everything. So I try to postpone as much as I can before deciding what dialogue, what action they are going to do. So even the dialogues I have with the actors before the shooting day can come into that dialogue, things like that. Understand. Do you ever get any resistance from the actors to work that way? I think in the in the beginning mm -hmm. they kind of you know scared because I don't give them the full script. Yeah. But uh, after two or three times of uh, shooting, they kind of enjoyed. Mm -hmm. it. So a question about the place-specific nature of of Song Su's films and how every film is situated in a particular locale, particular milieu, and whether or not that influences the action of the films? Oh, it, it's like, a, like weather, um, or the, the actors, it's the location is the same, you know, it, it, it gives me a lot of a stimulation, so I choose carefully. I don't want to go to uh, totally new place because then I'm I'm afraid I might have uh, responses that is uh, very uh, kind of stereotypical because it's a new place I first first response I get is uh, you know stereotype uh, responses so I try to shoot in the places I know already so I can have something else than the stereotype Responses. And you wanted to shoot this film in springtime, you told me. I cannot explain 
but I just want first thing comes up to me is uh, usually season. Mm -hmm. It was in the treatment. Mm -hmm. I don't know uh, why, but I, I wanted to put that people and dog story in between. It's kind of a uh, mental background, <laughs> if I can say. But do, would you agree that it's at the, at the center of the film? Mm, I don't know. But I, but I really wanted to put that uh, story question about the popularity of Korean cinema and how more and more of them have become popular and known over here and what is the there that's particular about Korean cinema and what is there that's general that's global that appeals to the world at large oh, about around the beginning of the 1990s uh, many young people um, start coming into the uh, film making and many talented people, I think. That's why we have this boom, and the boom. Boom is the right word. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot really explain how how that how it is like that. Maybe because we just got out of this dictatorship period, and uh, we had a long period of this. Um, how can I say? Um, before that period, all the young young people were reading a lot. You know, they 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 were really into uh, literature. Thing. So I think that's one of uh, the ground. Yeah, you know. basic ground. Yeah, they read a lot, and then they got got out of dictatorship, so they have this you know burst of uh, how can I say the freedom and creativity. creativity, and then we uh, we. Uh, we become a little more wealthy, <laughs> so we could make uh, more films like that, you know. We had more money. I think that these things are the, probably the ground. This is a, a, a question about the, the recurrence of uh, lead characters who are filmmakers. Um, is it autobiographical? Seems um, like a safe bet. Autobiographical in the sense that uh, because all the decisions of us, even small things, are done by myself, so it reflects myself. But uh, any any personality in my film is total uh, what is it, copy of or someone in reality. I always try to combine, so I can feel uh, freer. Because if I know I'm really copying from real person, I, I cannot work. Because I feel, you know, <laughs> he might not like my film, you know. So I try to combine, even in long dialogues, there are sources coming from like four different people. Are there any specific filmmakers or film cultures around the world that are, that are an influence on Song Soo? I have many uh, filmmakers I really like. Um, Burnau, is it the right word? Uh, Oju, Renoir, uh, Eric Domer, Buñuel, many, many people. A, a question about Sang Su's relationship with his cinematographer. Um, how much time do they work together? What, how much time do they spend composing the shots? It's, it, it is kind of a remarkable relationship. Um, this is third film I work with cinematographer and the uh, first thing I liked about him is he's a very gentle, decent person and uh, has a different kind of personality from myself. So I just wanted to be around with him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was, he has a good technique and everything, but that was more important thing. Mm. And uh, I usually uh, choose the angle. Um, another question of, about influence. Are there any Korean filmmakers, past or present, that have affected um, Sang Soo? And another question about financing. 
um, whether it's getting any easier or more difficult. Uh, I'm, I'm not just saying this, but I think there are many uh, really good directors in the past, but because of uh, uh, we don't have this uh, good archive and the system to uh, screen, so I haven't seen many. So, and I'm lazy too, so <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying to see more of them. And about the money, um, I really don't know. It's all because my, my film never recoup, so it's always hard to get a sponsor. Do you think that the relaxation of quotas of Western films coming in is going to affect you? The, the quota? Yes. Oh, I think it's a good system, but they, they reduce the dates. Yeah. dates. But do you think it's going to have an effect on the way that you make films? The way they're distributed? Just speculate, but uh, uh, it's still um, it's a, a question about a particular development in this film, that there are certain things that are, you know, that have been repeated throughout Sung Soo's films, like doubling and, and, and um, the way that the narrative develops, but then this film, it's true, does seem to be more, the, the women characters do seem to drive the narrative more than the men, and that is something new. <coughs> oh, in the beginning, I, in the treatment, I didn't know whether the film will end with a man or a woman. That's how, how it stood. But, uh, but, but as I started working with this woman, uh, the actress, I, I knew that uh, she is going to lead the story and uh, she's going to be the person who ends the st uh, film. It's, uh, it's largely because what she is, who she is. You know, I, I respond to that. So I don't have this uh, preconceived. So all the things in the uh, treatment is kind of excuse st to start process. And then I respond to the, all the elements in the mid, in the process. Can report to uh, either of them. Okay, can we wrap it up for today. Thanks everybody for coming, and thank you so much. Thank you.